Hi and welcome back to That Office Guy. My name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Microsoft Office for free. Um, if you find this useful and informative, do go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all of the latest hints and tips for Microsoft Office and various other um, applications for the PC. Um, and with that said, let's jump on over to the desktop and see how we can get Microsoft Office for free in 2021. Okay, so here I am just over at office.com. So the first thing we want to do is just make sure that we navigate to office.com and you'll be presented with this marketing website. From here, what you want to do is you want to click on this little option where it says sign up for free um, for the free version of Office. Okay, so you want to click that and this is then going to redirect you to creating an account with Microsoft. And so from here, I'm just going to uh, type in my email address. Um, and then we'll uh, basically go through the creation process. I'm going to click next. Okay, and then it's going to ask us to create a password. So I'll do that. Okay, and then I'm going to click next again. And then it wants to verify the email address. So they're going to email a code. And um, so I'm just going to bring that up quickly. Okay, once you have your code, you can just come in here and type in your verification code. Um, and you've got an option here to uh, select. So I would like to. Uh, information tips and offers about Microsoft. I'm going to not check that. I'm going to leave that blank and I'm just going to click on next. Uh, with that being verified, we didn't have to just pop this in. Uh, so we can just type this in as we see it there. S Y J Y um, X W G J. And press next. That will hopefully verify the account. Make sure that we're a real person. Fantastic. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and type in all of our details here. I'm just got a quick fill. So I'm going to just do that. Um, and I'm going to just put in my date of birth, etc. So I'm just going to bear with me one second whilst I just pop all these details in and then just click on next. And please confirm your age. Uh, you have selected that. Yes, that is correct. And we'll click next. With all that done, uh, we've now basically uh, got a free account. Uh, with Microsoft. Okay, so um, here we can obviously see you know the various different things that we have access to, right? So they're trying to obviously up um, upgrade us. You know they're wanting us to upgrade to Microsoft 365, which we do not want to do in this particular case. Uh, we have the free Office. Okay, so this uh, basically allows us to use the Office applications uh, online. Uh, we have obviously five gigabits of uh, cloud storage as well. Uh, we can click this arrow and we can obviously go through and tell us why you know what we get with our, our free microsoft office and you know ultimately try to upgrade us or want us to upgrade it's going to kind of go through all these various different things um if this is the first time you've done it you can spend a little bit more time kind of going through each of these stages um but ultimately we can just uh, click all the way through and once it's done uh, you'll end up with this screen just here with this screen uh, what you end up with is uh, you know a little bit of a, a say hello to the app launcher and kind of a bit of a guide as to what is going on here, right? Um, so over in the top right hand corner, you have the buy office and the install office. These unfortunately are paid options that we do not have access to currently. Um, but over here on the left, the app bar, these are the applications that we actually do have access to. So the first thing that we want to do is actually come over to uh, the more options here uh, give that a click and then click on all apps at the bottom here. Okay, from here, uh, we can then see all of the applications that we have access to. Okay, so we obviously have things like Calendar, Excel, Family Safety, Forms, Microsoft Office. Um, we have uh, OneDrive, OneNote, Outlook, um, you know, People, Power Automate, um, PowerPoint, right? Um, Skype, Sway, To Do and Word. Now, if you're looking for Microsoft Teams, you actually have to navigate to Teams um, site separately and sign up to Teams independently of Microsoft Office. Um, but when you do that, you'll ha then have access to the Teams app as well. Um, but for now, obviously, we don't have that. But um, ultimately, this gives you access to a lot of these basic applications that you can then start using straight away uh, inside um you know basically you know the web browser so i can click on uh, office that obviously loads up this uh, screen here uh, and obviously it shows you all your various different office documents if you just clicked on office there now if we go to excel obviously it will load up excel like this and we can start a blank workbook um you need to verify your uh, identity before you can access it so we're just going to click verify here and it's going to ask us then to just sign in which is fine we're going to just do that quickly um and then 
Uh, that should hopefully allow us to now go ahead and create a blank document, which it is. Let's give it a moment whilst it uh, loads. And there you go. So now you have access to Excel um, just on the web here. Now, the thing with this is obviously you can use Excel, Word, um, PowerPoint, etc. There are some slight differences between um, how this um, particular uh, Excel will look and how I guess uh, you know, your standard desktop application looks. Now, a lot of functionality is available here um, on the web. Um, however, you know there are some things that are not yet here. So you know, this is a constant um, application. The web application is constantly being evolved and you know updated with new functionalities. Um, so do bear with it. If there's something missing here, um, you know it will uh, probably get added in the future. Now, obviously, with that being said. If there's, um, you know, this this kind of covers the majority of everything that's basic about Excel, you know, so you can do all of your formulas, uh, you know, a lot of your basic formulas and anything that, and when I say basic, I mean, I mean you know, things like VLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs, HLOOKUPs, you know, things like that, very, very basic formulas, uh, sums, sum ifs, count ifs, so, you know, all that kind of basic stuff, and you can do a lot of that. Now, one thing that you wouldn't be able to necessarily do, as far as I know, um, is, you know, a lot of macro recording and stuff like that. But you know, some of those advanced features um, you probably wouldn't need if you're only looking for a free version of Microsoft Excel anyway. Um, but for the majority of people, this will definitely um, do what you're looking for. So again, we can just click on this option at the top here um, and come over to any of these other applications, right? So let's say we wanted PowerPoint, we can just come straight over to PowerPoint and launch a blank uh, PowerPoint presentation. Um, and all of this stuff is synced directly to your OneDrive. And um, so it keeps it all very, very uh, efficient and slick, right? So you can always hop to and from your, um, you know, your files in OneDrive um, very, very quickly using office.com, right? So there's lots of things that you can do um, with um, with all of this, right? So these are the two uh, files that we've just created, the blank presentation and the blank Excel workbook. And they're all accessible directly from the home tab here as our recents. Um, but if you wanted to, you can obviously load up your OneDrive uh, in a separate screen here, and you could be able to see everything that's inside your OneDrive as well. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these options, but you can obviously see how it all works. Um, I'm just going to close that for now. It's obviously going to try to get us to upgrade. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close that down. Um, but you can see everything here um, and your, your all file storage and all that kind of stuff, right? So uh, everything is pretty intuitive when it comes to office.com and very, very easy to use. Um, and ultimately, yeah, you, you can start using these applications completely for free in 2021. Um, and yeah, you don't need to basically pay for Office unless you need uh, offline functionality, right? So if you're going to be using, you know, uh, Excel or PowerPoint offline, where you know you're not going to have an internet connection, chances are then you're going to have to basically buy Office or um, upgrade to a 365 subscription where you'll be able to download the applications uh, and then obviously you'll be able to use them offline. But without that, uh, you know, you can have an internet connection. You can use these on the, on the web browser uh, without any issue at all. Um, so guys, hopefully you found that uh, useful and informative. Um, if you did, then definitely do go ahead and hit that uh, like button for me. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will be kept up to date with all the videos uh, that we do here at That Office Guy. And with all that said, we hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you all in the next one.